Now to the breaking news. The end of an intense manhunt for a suspected killer. 28-year-old Sundance Oliver turned himself in at the 77th Precinct Station House in Bed-Stuy at 7 o'clock this morning, just hours after the police commissioner held an early morning press conference to announce a manhunt was on for him. Police say Oliver started his deadly rampage yesterday when he wounded a 96-year-old Brooklyn man with a stray bullet during a robbery attempt. They say he then shot and killed a 21 year old acquaintance in Manhattan and then returned to Brooklyn and killed a 17 year old girl. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is live in Crown Heights with the breaking details. Janice. Yeah, hi there. This manhunt lasted almost 24 hours, but at about 7 a.m. this morning, that is when Sundance Oliver turned himself into the 77th precinct. You see it here behind me. And now we're told he's at the Kings County Hospital receiving a psychiatric evaluation. He is considered armed and extremely dangerous. An hours long manhunt after three shootings in two boroughs, ending with the suspect turning himself into the 77th precinct in Crown Heights section of Brooklyn and leaving in an ambulance. <laughs> Authorities say 28 year old Sundance Oliver's crime spree started Monday morning when a 96 year old man in a wheelchair was shot near Bergen Street and Rochester Avenue in Brooklyn. He's expected to be okay. Our preliminary investigation revealed the shooter in this incident appears to have initially attempted to rob a female before discharging his firearm at that female. Then just several hours later in lower Manhattan, police say Oliver shot and killed 21 year old Kevon Langston inside the Al Smith houses. And just before midnight, police were called back to Crown Heights, this time for the shooting of a 17 year old. Upon arrival, officers confirmed there was a female shot in the chest at that location. The victim was removed to an area hospital where she succumbed to her wounds at approximately 12.45 a.m. Authorities say Oliver knew Langston as well as the 17 year old. He's currently on parole for robbery and has 12 prior arrests, including criminal possession of a weapon. Mayor Eric Adams expressing his concerns on WABC radio after learning about his criminal history. He is the poster child of just a failing system of keeping dangerous people off our street, no matter how many times police officers carry out their job. This was a bad person who just had one desire, and that's to inflict harm on innocent people. Oliver has not yet been formally charged, and the motive behind this crime spree uh, that police are still investigating.